How we doing? How we doing this morning? I feel thankful and grateful today. Why like that? I got a chance to be in this space. Uh, attempt to teach as you teach me. So as I struggle, I wrestle a little bit. So well, God, what should I talk to your people about? So I wrestle about a couple of days. I don't know. And finally, God said, well, keep it simple. Let's talk about something that is relevant for this space. Two terms. Love and knowledge. Love and knowledge. So, my first question would be, what does love mean to you? Now, I'm asking because I'm going to tie it into what empowerment means. So, love and knowledge are going to relate to what empowerment means. We're going to get you. We're going to define that as we go. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to flow. We're going to roll with it. You know what I mean? What does love mean to you, sir? Um, to love somebody. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. Now. Talk to me. You're um, teaching me. Talk to me. To to feel compassion for somebody else. Okay. That's it. Okay, everybody. Look, oh, you really want me to know. <laughs> what What does love mean to you? Oh my God, love is so so broad. For me, love is a fruit cocktail. <laughs> Somebody says, what do you mean by fruit cocktail? It's so many components to love mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, I have my love for my brother Michael. I have my love for my partner, mm -hmm. Jamal. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go ahead, Dwayne. Love is the reason we're here today. If it wasn't for love, we wouldn't be here today. Jesus okay. loved the world so that he gave his only begotten son so we can be here today. That's the greatest love of all. That's good. Uh, what else? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, I would say uh, there's a passion, a passion involved in this house. Love is patient, okay. kind, long suffering. So I would say uh, I use that for me uh, okay. as, a, as a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the, the chapter. Y'all remember it? Yeah. Second, second Corinthians. Yeah, we talked about love is this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, for me, I, I broke love down into three parts, three sections. As my research, I see love as love can be love is an action, love is abstract, and love is supernatural. Now, what do that mean? Well, it's not nothing too hard. It's pretty simple. But the first one is love and action. Love and action is, of course, you can see it. You know, you're giving hugs, and kisses, and saying excuse me, and being courteous towards one another. All of these are visible. That's love and action that you can see. Now, the opposite is love and abstract. Go ahead, go ahead. Talk to me. But I kind of agree with that. Talk to me. See, like, growing up, all my parents loved us, mm -hmm. but they didn't know how to show love to us. Mm -hmm. You run up, I didn't come from an affection, mm -hmm. hugging and kids and family and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But we can sit next to each other like this, mm -hmm. and we love each other. But mm -hmm. I didn't come from a hugging and kids and family like some people are like, no, so, I mean, so, so love can be different, different ways. Right, 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 right. Because, like, for me, because when I came to Georgia, y'all don't love too much for me. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, I mean, everybody's, everybody's embrace. So, how love was shown to me, mm -hmm. I had to learn how to love people. Even though my parents, they, my mom and dad, they loved us, mm -hmm. they loved their kids, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes in some families that it's passed down from generation to generation. I didn't come from an affection. <coughs> my mom loved her mother, but she didn't really show, yeah. show affection to her mother. Okay. Okay. Understand. Family. Understand. I mean, that's, that's, that's where I came from. Understand. I mean, we loved each other. You came from love because your mama loved your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. What you just said is what you know, express right now is part of love. Okay? It did not mean that that's all what love is. Don't mean that. Yeah. He um, said there is a three, based on his research, there are three elements of I mean, how to explain or express, you know, or you know, feel, you know. So let's give him a little bit That's of chance exactly let same. him finish those, and then we can see where we fit in. There you go. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, love to me has many variations. Okay. Many definitions. 
But um, the best part of love to me is being hit by. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons why I see being, you know, being in love, loving someone has its different strengths. Sometimes you can love a person, you may not be in love with that person. Okay. Interesting. Uh, sometimes you can be in love with that person, but you really don't love that person. You just mm -hmm. in love with that person. You just love to be around that person. And then we have that kind of love that we just can't live without that person. Mm -hmm. Though we're not with that person, though we don't hear that from, from that person, we still feel that person in our life. Love is also the highest form of communication. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if there's no communication, really, there is no love. Mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, com com communication has, has a connectivity, of, it has an internet sense. And sometimes that internet sync could be, that signal could be hot spot, pass along. You know, and we slowly as our people start to learn hot spot our own loveness. So through so, so network and through programs like this. And this to me, this is love. That's good. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. The second one is uh, love is abstract. This is the love that you cannot see with the physical eye. Yeah. Uh, this is a love of sensation, uh, of feeling. For example, when you feel that knot in your stomach, that you get a, a crush mm -hmm. on somebody, oh, you know what I'm saying, he look good, she look good. That's, it's a sensation, a feeling that you can't express. That's abstract. But it still, it's, it still has uh, the ability to manifest in the physical world. Okay. Because you are a physical being right. with emotional with emotion. So that's abstract, which is cool, you know what I mean? A lot of folks are more visual people. I'm more of a visual. So abstract is you know, really, really my thing. I got to see it, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Love is abstract. <laughs> love is abstract. And the third one is love, of course, is supernatural. And of course, that's the love of the creator who created you. In return, the same connection that you love your creator, whoever that is, in your own space. So there's three forms of love. So as we transition, like my man was saying, love is a universal idea. All human beings want to be loved by their creator, their parents, their siblings, their children, their community, and hopefully loving yourself. So love is a language that all animals, not just human beings, but all animals of the world communicate with. Mm. So if we can understand that, then, then the, 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 the way we view ourselves and the way we view other people will have to trust and we have to change because we have finally commit and submit to the language of love. But I think it's hard because we're all social beings. Uh, we live in a world where things conflict with us spiritually and emotionally and even physically. So it's kind of hard. So, so in relate to that, how does loving yourself become empowering? How does loving yourself is empowering? Ask Peter. Ask Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you want Peter? If you can't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody? Somebody else. Peter. That's good. Go ahead. That's good. <laughs> I, I, I agree and disagree with that. Okay. Talk to me. I know plenty of people that love me more than I love myself. Okay. A lot of times I love somebody. More than me, mm -hmm. Sometimes I love my car more than my car loves me. Your car? Yeah. Okay. My car, my vehicle. Sometimes my car, my vehicle may be myself. Maybe. Not very nice. <laughs> Whether getting around physically or getting up. Is that, that love? Out. Is that love or that's just a need, something that you need to do? Well, you know, ain't love sometimes, you, you know, sometimes. What, when, yeah, what was your question us? again? It is. What was your question? Oh, how does loving oneself or yourself is empowering? Okay, so really you're, you're basing it. It's not about the car. It's not about right. you. It's about you. Right. So, yeah. so, 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 really, so really what you're saying is that to bring attention to, to me. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. what am I doing? Mm -hmm. If I don't like my stomach being, what am I doing to make sure that That's stomach right. is... That's right. If, I, if I'm not eating right, or spiritual. I'm getting sick. Because you're all just being. You know what I mean? So, I'm so, I'm so, 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 so what am I doing to make, to make me 
feel how good. Good with yourself. Right, okay. because we hold holistic beings, I mean, meaning that you have a, a mind, you have a body, you have a soul. Mm. And so if you're not loving all of that, then you're not loving yourself at all. You're a holistic being. Mm -hmm. So that's my question. How do you love, how does loving yourself, the totality of yourself, mm. empower you and your community? How, 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 do, how do we do, what does that look like? How do we do that? And guys, well, I want to clarify one thing. So loving yourself you. mean, doesn't mean you're not going to make mistakes and right. fall short. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. Loving thing, Amen. yourself means your conscious, mm -hmm. your consciousness is clear mm -hmm. about who you are and what you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. That's good. Anybody? Nobody? No? Okay. To love oneself is to love what is. You have to love what you consider good, what you consider bad. The ugly, what you call ugly, even the stuff you lock away in the dark places of your mind and your soul. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, then you have to embody it. You have to live it. To live it is to love all of you and be okay. And nobody has to validate that. Mm -hmm. Because you know who you are. And yeah, you understand, yeah. this is who I am. This is, this is stuff that I have. Yeah. So nobody has to validate you. You love you. Right? This is empowerment because you love yourself. So that you can make an impact on your community to love his or herself. Mm -hmm. Comments? Nobody? Anybody? There are those who don't love themselves for several reasons, but your light will shine because you love yourself and that will encourage your community to love one another. So the ultimate goal is once you can love yourself, as Peter said, you can love those around you. And then when you can love those around you, you can encourage them to love themselves, mm -hmm. to empower the community. Because if the community is getting left behind, then you're still failing your community. Mm -hmm. See, love is a universal idea. The universal idea is to be a community. Mm -hmm. But if we're not a community, then we lost the language of love. Mm -hmm. No? Anybody? Yes. Talk to me, Dwayne. Uh, you know, God showed action. He showed love. Okay. He created this whole universe, the trees, the water, the flowers, the plant, the smell, the whole, mm -hmm. just for man. Okay. And, and, and to show us, as, as, as to show us love. Mm -hmm. When God showed us that love, mm -hmm. we should be able to love back. Okay. Because the, that was an action word. Okay. God was action mm -hmm. when He created stuff. Okay. That showed action. Okay. Anything that end with ing show action. That's right. That's so right. He created when He created this earth. You know, He showed action. He showed love. And. And that's how I know how to love back because God gave it to me first. Good. You know, once I, even if my parents didn't give it to me, my mm -hmm. uncle didn't give it to me, my friends didn't give it to me, mm -hmm. I can look at the creation. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I know that God loved me by creating all this stuff just for me. That's good. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I got a question, Jamal. Yes, sir. Do you guys know the difference between love and unhappiness? Ooh, I do. That's good. Love and happiness. Love and happiness. Love Sandra and happiness. got a response. Sandra. <laughs> I'm sorry? Sandra had a response. I think Sandra did respond. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the question you asked is do you want to know the difference between love and happiness? That's good. Love and happiness. Love and happiness. One of the algorithms. Yes. Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, the algorithm has things like love and yeah. happiness. Yeah. Love and happiness. Love. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference, or can you can or should the two always be together? Can you have love without happiness, or happiness without love? Yeah. That depends. It's uh, that's the individual then gets his, gets his dealing with one's own self and what one determine as what love is to them, mm -hmm. and what happiness is mm -hmm. to them, to that individual. Uh, for me, my personal. Uh, thing is that I not only get happiness, I get contentment, I get joy mm -hmm. through the love mm -hmm. uh, that I have, but then understand that this love is within, my, within me. Mm -hmm. So my love of myself brings me happiness, brings me joy, brings me contentment, brings me uh, whatever my need of self is at that time because I am in touch with me. And I know what satisfies me, what makes me happy. I don't rely on an individual mm -hmm. to bring a gift. This, this is something that is created within myself. So for me, uh, love is happiness. Love is joy. Love is peace. There is no separation or division 
with from it because if you have love, mm -hmm. you have all the characteristics of love. It's like a cake. So if you walk around saying, I, you walk around saying I'm, I love myself, but you're unhappy, that's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. Well, I'll, 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 let me push back on that. Because <laughs> even love, everything that we consider good has an opposite to it. Oh, yes, it so let me push back. Now, if you saying we have love, then understand even with love, there will come some pain. Oh, yeah. And some disappointments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when time is saying goodbye to somebody, that's hurtful. Yeah. So if we can understand and accept that even though love is a powerful word that's supposed to be good, there will still come some bad with it, then that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. I think if, if, if you're in love with yourself mm -hmm. and this person transitions mm -hmm. on, you can be happy for the person the transitioning. Transition. Right. Because you understand that process. Right. right. That's right. You understand that process. That's right. But I think, I think in terms of love, I mean, I know there are opposites, you know, love, hate, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Pain, hurt, you know, mm. hurt. So, and I know unhappiness, but I think when you said the question was, can you have love without, and, without mm. or with, mm. with it? You cannot, uh, because because of because of love being what it is. Now you can have, you can be unhappy, uh, but that's not something that you bring. That's something that's a situation that has happened that causes this to happen, but it's not necessarily a part of. Your happiness is who you Question. are. Question. Okay, and so, so, a, so a situation would be, I'll say say it's somebody that I really love, mm -hmm. and they're just found out they're on drugs. Mm -hmm. Just found out. Mm -hmm. And VCR is gone, money is mm -hmm. gone, all because they stole it to get drugs, and I'm just finding all this out. Mm -hmm. I love them. Right. So what we say in a case like that, I I I, I love them dearly, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna try everything to but, help but, them. But, but I'm not. We're talking about what your more with your personal happiness, not what somebody does to you. Okay, so then that's a difference. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, but but what I want to say to that though, because when she was talking, what I thought about is learning ways, learning ways to make, uh, because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Learning ways that when 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 sad things or whatever do happen to 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 turn it around. Mm -hmm. In other words, let our love turn it around mm -hmm. where we make our own create our own happiness. That's right. I'm not coming to say my question was the same as this. Where we got? Oh, I just said. Um, I've been in a lot of situations where I was unhappy to be in that situation, okay. but I with that person, but it was joyful and. It became love, and then it became pretty much happy. You know, um, and vice versa. You know, love is like a seesaw; it's like a scale. It goes up, it goes down. Love is pain, pain is love. The thin line between love and hate is energy. That energy can be persuaded to the left or to the right, or up and down at any given time. But you know, we, we all must keep a balance and keep a compass and understand this is what we want them to do. Because you know, sometimes. It, it's, it's not just us that, it's not just the next person that provides us that love, but it's the accomplishment of coming in contact with that energy and having that connection with someone. You know, sometimes we always think about, oh, it's just me, 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 me. You know, but sometimes the enemy can be into ourselves. And sometimes we can see the godliness in somebody else, and then we come in contact with that power, and then we thank the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically, you know. I um I say um I can love myself and be unhappy. Mm hmm That's good. And I can be happy and not love myself. That's right. That's good. That's good. Let me start with the first one. Mm -hmm. I can be I can love myself mm -hmm. and be unhappy. Mm -hmm. First of all, like we already, you know, elaborated that you know it depends with how I define love. Love to me, mm -hmm. you know, love myself. So when I say I love myself, first of all, is that I love my existence, my being, who I am, you know, <coughs> what you know I do, what I don't. You know what I'm saying? And uh, in the midst of that, in conjunction with what I like and what I don't like about myself, you know what I'm saying? You know, there are things that I don't like about myself. You need to understand that that doesn't mean that I don't love me. I don't like because I love me. And I like, you know, I like because I love me. 
-hmm. still allowed myself. So in those uh, in those terms, it's gonna come to things that will make me unhappy. Mm -hmm. This is a secondary uh, element that will make me unhappy. You know, it could be other person. Mm -hmm. Okay, it could be uh, the situation that I'm living in. You know, <coughs> lost job or my kids or something will make me unhappy in that moment. That doesn't mean I don't love myself. And, and, and I think, let's not get off track, guys. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're looking at internal and external. Mm -hmm. We're trying to mix the two. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about stuff outside of you. Mm -hmm. right? Situations or circumstances. Mm -hmm. or, we're not talking about that. We're talking about you as an individual. Mm -hmm. Void of all the stuff that's going on around you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Nope. See, when you say, when you're happy about yourself, that means I have a focus. I know where I want to go, I know what my purpose is, these things, you know. And you know you're not gonna be content with where you are, but you are happy the idea that you you have that knowledge that I need to do something more or something better. I'm happy about the idea that I don't have to stay this way. You see, that's that's what I'm saying now. You're gonna to come to another uh, uh, point about that again, just like how we say it depends on how I define love to me, love mm -hmm. myself to mm -hmm. me, and how I define happy or right. happiness That's to right. me. That's so right. you, your definition or somebody else's definition of happy of happiness can be different with how I define That's love right. to me. So you That's can't right. expect me right. to be well, defined, to have that definition, the same definition of happiness or yes. of love as you have. And then so, again, again so we're, we're not, we're not talking about that. externally. We're talking about you, mm -hmm. we're not talking about nobody else's definition. Mm -hmm. We don't know that. What we know is, this is James Stuber, and I'm happy at the way my life is structured. I'm happy at what I've learned about myself. That's right. I'm happy, That's right. you know, not so much at what other people are doing, mm -hmm. but I'm happy at the idea that, guess what? I am just where I am in life, mm -hmm. and all the other stuff is unnecessary. Okay. Yeah. And I guess, I guess for me, where I'm at right now, I'm just, where I'm at right now, and all. Because, like, love, love is, I mean, Loving it and, and loving it and having happiness. Because, like, right now, my grandma, I'm not too young, my grandma. Mm -hmm. I don't think y'all were here when my grandma was mm here. -hmm. Well, she's dealing with, she has stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. And she's very, very sick. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, I'm trying to find the happiness and the love that I have for her. Because, and it's so funny because she's all right with it. Mm -hmm. But it's just the situation that I'm trying to find happiness in this situation. But it's so hard for me that it's really breaking me down emotionally. Mm -hmm. This was because I love her so much that I want the best for her. But I mean, it's just so sometimes you do, it's try, it's, sometimes it's trying to it's, it's kind of hard to find happiness mm -hmm. in a love situation. No, I mean, it may sound crazy how I'm saying it, but it's just where I'm at right now mm -hmm. because I know that God has control of everything. Mm -hmm. But for right now, I just can't find that happiness for me right now, and that's okay. Well, maybe happiness that's is the wrong word. Maybe, you know, and, and, and what you're dealing with. Are you right. trying to be right. happy about what? You, you're happy about the fact that uh, your, your grandmom has accepted her situation as a reality of her end or her but, life. Yeah, but, but, um, but it's not making me happy. But but you see, is that supposed to make you happy? And it's not about you. And it's not one. really about you, as but he said. it's okay to feel how you feel. I mean, it's okay. Come on, right? You know, and this, okay. this is the way I see it. Happiness sometimes empowers love. Okay. Because sometimes we have to remove other things mm -hmm. for our happiness, mm -hmm. which empower us to love ourselves mm -hmm. even more than we can spread the love that we in bail. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's just my that was my walk at one point in time. Mm -hmm. You know, I I call myself loving somebody, but I didn't like their act. So then I had to get happiness within what I needed to do was remove them, which that happiness brought me back to loving the whole me. That's good. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes we have to move things mm -hmm. that we think are supposed to be there mm -hmm. because we love them, mm -hmm. 
But actually, that's not the look of love. Mm -hmm. That's the imagination of love. So we have to get rid of it to get the authentic love within ourselves. So, <clears throat> I have a question. Uh, so, if you've never been, you have never really been taught how to love. Mm -hmm. How do you? How do you love yourself? I mean, it's not something that. I mean, a lot of people can just do it. They can just love themselves, but a lot of people can't. So, how do you go about <coughs> just loving yourself and being happy with who you are? If you've never been taught that. For me, I think it's intrinsic. It's already put in you. Thank you. It's just a matter of how you Thank recognize you. it. See, you. understand, love is a choice. It's, it's, you. It, you have to choose to love yourself. Yeah, you have to choose. You have to Good choose. Point. Mm -hmm. Love is a choice. Yeah, it's a choice. So it, it, it's not this action, but it's also a choice. If we don't, if we don't make the choice to say we're going to do it, then it ain't going to happen. So it's a choice. You have to say, well, I'm going to love myself, whatever that is, whatever that means to you. I'm going to love myself and feed it, feed it to people. That's it. So I mean, like you can say it all you want. If it doesn't, if it doesn't manifest within you, right. then you have to, but you have to believe that. Yeah. See, that's why ain't manifest. See, we talk now. You go back now. You use the word faith. Well, I have faith in this. Right. I have faith in that. So again, if you have faith and believe, then it will manifest. Right. If you, I, I just want to say, uh, I don't know if you heard of something called the law of attraction. Whatever you you see and you desire mm -hmm. or you look for and you. Think it and you believe it. <laughs> it's conditioning your mind to say if I want to go get a Volvo car, a truck, and that's what that that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna do everything in my possible power because I, I have love in myself to want this. So achieve it. I'm 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 gonna achieve it. So, but it takes the unit. Let me tell you something. The unit. Once you make a decision about what you want, the universe will work in your way to get what you need. Mm -hmm. it's, it, but it takes time. I ain't gonna say it's gonna happen. That that type of love, you are gonna get it now. But it takes time. It needs to evolve and to develop. That way, that that love that you're looking for, you'll find it. See, and you will find it. Wayne, um, like you next. God is love. Okay. God is in everything. There's two different spirits. Uh, that's the spirit of love, and that's the spirit of hate. And, and the devil want to chem camouflage everything. And, and the thing is, like, if I'm in a relationship, or I have a partner or something, and they walk out on me, they leave me. You know what? I need to look for the love in there. I ain't trying to look for the love. I'm just self-centered, egotistic. I just want what I want. Yeah. You know? And if I look for the love, I'll find the love. Maybe God took that out of my life because it wasn't healthy for me. You know, I get what I look for. If I look for love, I'm going to find love in every situation. There's love that's in every situation. And if, you, if you're feeling bad about yourself, you hate yourself because you want to step over to the other side, to that other spirit. It's like, pour me, pour me, pour me a drink. You know, you want to jump on the pity pot. You want somebody to feel sorry for you. And you don't want to take responsibility to do what you need to do for yourself. You always got your hand out, give me, give me, give me, give me, mm. instead of getting your arm. If, uh -huh. you want, if you want love, you got to go and get it. Right. It ain't just jump, and you right. can choose. The, if you want to be sad, you can choose that sadness right. because choice. you want to serve that other power. You don't want to do the work to serve the, the, the higher power. You want Dwayne, I guess? Oh, somebody. Go ahead, Mommy. Oh, I was just going to say, like, I, I, I agree with, like, what James and some of the others were saying about how the two kind of go and sync with each other um, in general. But I also know that, for me, I, I look at it as though you can love yourself, mm -hmm. but you can be unhappy about the mm -hmm. way you That's right. treat others or, or, way, or some of the things you do in your life. Mm -hmm. Whereas, and vice versa, you can, you know, be happy mm -hmm. in where you are in life or whatever, but you may not love how you mm -hmm. did this or how you do this, you know, so it's that's kind of how I look at it. Let me transition, I have two minutes. Uh, the next word is knowledge. What does knowledge mean to you? Anybody? Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Anybody? 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 It means to know you. You got to know the right and wrong in order to do right. So you got to be in the know. Mm -hmm. You gotta know what is versus what shouldn't. Mm -hmm. the, the Bible says knowledge should uh, come with the fear of God. Who? If you fear God, 
Is that where knowledge starts? Is that knowledge? Is that knowledge? You say that as? Is that knowledge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got me a seminary. Is that knowledge? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to say, when you start fearing, when you start fearing God, the, the knowledge come in because you want to learn more about Him. And when you learn more about Him, when you know better, you do better. You're going to get the good stuff. Like mm -hmm. you say, when you know better, you don't got all the good stuff. Now you can do better. What is knowledge? Right. Be quiet all day. What's knowledge? What, what is knowledge to you? To you? To know, to know myself. Oh yeah? To, uh, to know what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you have, if you're knowing the knowledge that you know what it takes to make you happy, then you can it exudes other people to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, whatever aura you give out, that's the kind of, that's, it's just like the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. So whatever you give, whatever you give out, yeah. you receive out. So if you have bad vibes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, if you, you don't know what love is, um, you don't know how to treat anyone, mm -hmm. then that's the, what you're going to attract because those are the people that's going to attract you because they feel, oh, you're an easy target, so I'm going to go after you and see if I can get whatever I get out of you. Mm -hmm. But if you, have, if you have that knowledge to know that that's what I'm attracting, then that's what's not going to try to break. So what I got is, you know, you can read, you read. knowledge is the capacity to know oneself, as you said, have the ability to communicate that knowledge to others. What's good to know is that human beings, we have a lot of creativity and the ability to change ourselves, improve ourselves, unlike any life form on this planet. So that makes us unique. Human beings, we're unique, unique beings. Uh, we are capable of passing the habit stage, not just developing habits, but to be rational. So as human beings, we have the ability and the capacity to be rational, thinking beings. To have knowledge, man, to think. And we were created, we were created to think. We have the ability to any animal on this earth to think. Because you're thinking, I don't mean you have knowledge. I mean, you can do something so Well, in that. comparison to the animals under you, those that's not human, we're the only form on this earth that can have the, right, the ability, the choice to think. Don't mean that you have to think, but animal. we have the ability to think. Animal think. Question. Question. Talk to me. Go ahead, Jimmy. Yeah, well, you know what, the, the thing is, is that whether we believe in the Bible or not, mm -hmm. or whoever we believe in, whether it's a mosque or whoever, because they all say some of the same thing. That's right. The Bible says this, though. Um, whatsoever things are good, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are honest, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are a good report, do what? Think, think on these things. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's given a guideline, and that's just a guideline. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we'll get the big picture that whatever we do will be more in a positive vein. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, people can think all kinds of crazy stuff. Right, right, right. I don't care who you are. Right. If you can think it, people then done. You can do it. That's right. right. And yeah. even in the church. Yeah. You know, That's nobody it. would do that in the church. Nobody mm -hmm. do this mm -hmm. in the church. But if you can think it, it's, it's been done. It's been done. Yeah. 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 But, but again, uh, we, like until my father brought up, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. so, so, so again, uh, we have to find a way mm -hmm. to create such an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Even if, if that means if, 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 my, if my brother and sister find out that I'm really messing up their day every time I come around, they got to find a way to separate me out of it. They got to find a way to separate me out of it. You understand what I'm saying? That's because they love themselves so much. That's right. That's okay? right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because, because by that time, by that time, they've already tried everything to love me, mm -hmm. and when that didn't work, mm -hmm. they had to separate me out of there. <laughs> and then, you know, so we know. Yeah. We are the masters of our life, in a sense, do knowledge that has been passed down from my ancestors. Not to tie in there, you know, I'm very, a person on his doors about our ancestors, where we come from, so that's a big key for me. Um, our ancestors suffered tremendously through brutality and oppression. However, our ancestors had enough knowledge to survive and maintain their identity and communicate to one another while being enslaved. This is empowerment because our ancestors would, had persevered so we could sit here in this space today and talk without being a friend, without being the man who can't talk. So because of our ancestors, they empower us to be here at this time, this moment, this space, to talk in this safe space. There's no infringement, nobody saying we can't talk. That's empowerment. That's good. 
But we don't see it like that. Like, we so privileged. Even though we, we go through systems in the world, we are privileged to be here today to talk and dialogue. You teaching me more than I'm teaching you because I'm learning. Mm -hmm. See, I don't have all the answers. That's why I'm in school. But when I got here, you taught me so much to be humble and grateful. Mm -hmm. That's environment. So, the last few words, and I'm done. Um, for me, knowledge is energy that we seek daily in our lives, if you know it or not. As we come to the end, I just want to encourage you to continue on the path of loving yourself and your community, because that's empowerment. When you love yourself and your community, you are the example and people will follow you. Also, constantly seeking knowledge to seek knowledge give you empowerment to attack the system that prohibits you from becoming knowledgeable. When you seek knowledge, it will give you the audacity or the boldness and the energy to help your community become conscious for change and freedom and that is empowerment. I have a couple of poems here, man, I think should be helpful for you. One deals with uh, love and one deals with knowledge. And I think once you read it, you know, internalize, you want to internalize it, how you want to do it, I don't know, you know. I think it should be helpful. Because a lot of times, you know, we have a lot of tools that we can access. You know, we got technology, so stuff is out there. We just got to take the choice to, to go get it. You know what I'm saying? So I think visual stuff is good. To see stuff is good. Some guys, sometimes just waking up in the morning and reading something positive instead of turning on the news and seeing these guys who right. kill and all that kind of stuff. That sets your day off on an even tilt. You know, you need something to set you off on an even tilt. You wake up, you know, and you want the day to be the best day of your life. You don't wake up with expecting drama. You don't wake up expecting a whole lot of confusion. But you are in charge of that. Because I tell you, once you walk outside the confines of your home, there's drama and confusion out there. You gotta be prepared to say, you know what? That's not my mission today. I gotta go, and I'm gonna meet that goal. And go do what you got to do. Leave the drama and, and, and confusion where it is. If somebody you know is argumentative, stay away from them. If somebody's gonna bring gloom and droom to you, stay away from them. Stop acting like they, that you, they're your lifeblood and without them you're gonna die. <coughs> And I think that's where we get lost. We don't know how to say no to adversity. We allow it to creep in and infect us, and then we become evil, angry, and nobody wants to be around us, and, and we don't realize that we open that door to that. We open the door to that craziness. So to keep the craziness out, you keep yourself in line with what your mission, your goal is, and your purpose. So I want to thank you today for what you did. Thank you for ending our month of empowerment. Because you know, uh, starting on next Wednesday, we're going to be in a month of gratitude. Hey! <laughs> and, you know, we're going into the season of gratitude. Yes, Lord. Holidays, all this stuff is coming. And do you know what happens when holidays and, and things like that come up? We're reminded of things that aren't occurring or have occurred in our lives. That's it. And sometimes those things aren't pleasant. Family is. So we got to be strong enough to stand and say, you know what? I am going to be strong in who I am. And understand that whatever came before me, it's gone. And I can live with it. And whatever going to meet me in the future, I'm going to be prepared for it. There's, there's a short song uh, in reference to what he was speaking about. Um, Hopefully it's loud enough, but just listen to the words. It's real short. But just listen to the words about love. Let's see if I can play it here. Is that Robin Ash? You got to show me that. It's saying, that's your side. I love myself so much. <laughs> I love you so much that you can love me so much. That you can start loving me. I love you so much. Who knows that song? That I can love you. You know what I'm saying? That you can love me so much. Let me try one time. Anyway, it's finished. I have a. Just a quick thing I would like everybody just to pray for me because 
Sunday something happened to me that I was so hurt mm -hmm. from this person. I was so hurt and I had to really, really come to terms with myself because of the fact that I opened my house up and let him come in mm -hmm. and he did this to me and Antonio. So I would just would like for you guys to really pray for me because I felt so bad for this person. But he, mm -hmm. that's what happened. So y'all yeah, just pray for him. Thank you. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Just know that that's where deception come in with happiness. Yeah, I know that you're going to grow from this, and you're going to be a lot more aware. And, and if you want to get with somebody that's uh, been stuck more than 10 times <laughs> with a knife, talk to me later. Talk to me afterwards. Yeah, you, know, I'll, you know, I'll cry with you and yeah, share right. with you. Yeah, one spot left. I'm going to tell you. I want to piggyback on what you just said. I think you're referring to me. Uh, Antonio and uh, Cashman invited me to church. I'm going to tell you and I wanted to say thank you, Casper, because I had an accident uh, the night before. Okay. And I was planning to go to church with them, uh, but due to the accident, I was smelling like shit. I'm going to just be honest. I, I dirt, my clothes got dirty because I shit on myself. And when I got to his house, he opened up, he did open up his house to me. And I wanted to say I had the right intention to go to church with him, but due to the fact that I was smelling bad, he allowed me to use his bathroom. And he gave me some clothes, and I, he asked for the clothes back. These are the shorts. Uh, I don't do that. Let me finish, let me finish, please. Yep. This is important. He, I'm thanking him for what he did. He didn't have to open up his house. He didn't have to ask me to go to church with him. Thank you for this. Well, I tried to give him the pants back. He said, keep them. That's a child of God. He didn't have to open up his house. He didn't have to invite me to church. Thank you, Casper. And I want to apologize if I offended you in any kind of way. That was not my intention. I, I didn't go to church with him and Antonio. I went to World Changers, and I told Antonio, forgive me for not going to church with you guys. And they gave me some money. And that's the child of God. You, 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 let you me know, finish. Let me finish, no, please. No, 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 we're not going to let you finish. Okay. Talk to him. Well, I said enough. You said enough. Talk to him first. No, no, yes. No, let me just say this. I said thank you. We're about to close. We're about to close. Talk to him first. This is the thing. I ain't going to say nothing else about it. I'm done with it. I said thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you with the issue. Well, let, let's, let's go ahead and stand up. But the thing, yeah, the thing, that, is, the thing that we all have to remember is <laughs> responsibility. No, no matter what we do, like, like we're saying in the group, there's going to be hurt and pain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you have to do that. Let's pray, God. We thank you for this day we have you have created. We thank you, God, for your continuous divine love in our life. Let me give you out. We thank you, God, for your continuous divine love in our life. We ask that you would continue, God, to bless us in every way possible. Continue, God, to help us to have these conversations and dialogues, not just for today, but for, for every day, to keep us aware and conscious in you. Help us mature in love and grow in you. Now, as we come to the full preparation, we ask that this food will give us strength and nourishment. In your name, amen. 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 The empower. Don't forget, no coming ground tomorrow.
Anybody else saw any crackers? Y'all want some crackers over here? Why, y'all don't like a meal? Okay. Uh-oh. And they said that if you want some more chili, there's some more chili in the uh, kitchen. You got to think you need